All right, we have a mystery guest. He want to remain a mystery. And I'm quite sure most people think he want to remain a mystery because they think it's something crazy or illegal, but no. He is an example of why the black man would be angry. He is an example of how he's able to do the things he's able to do, but yet being judged by what society think and not know. So do you mind introducing yourself? Yeah, the mysterious black angry man. That sound like a superhero character. <laughs> well, can you explain why you think that the mysterious black men are angry? Uh, that's a very broad question. Well, let's say the young, why should the young men, the black men of today, why are they angry? Uh, it's pretty deep. Um, in today's time, it's like a huge disconnect from the youth and, and uh, elders. I don't think that the elders are, you know, voluntarily or willingly passing down knowledge and passing down information that the youth can use. So it becomes frustrating when you're young, when you're trying to do things and you're trying to accomplish goals and you don't have the knowledge to obtain those goals. Also, when you're trying to strive for your goals and you're failing time after time or not meeting the criteria, that you think you should meet, it, it makes you angry, you know, cause frustration. And then on top of all of that, you have people around, you know, you have people that have nice things and, you know, they're succeeding. So you think that you should be where they're at and it, it creates anger. So it's a lot to that answer, but. Well, I'll ask some specifics. Okay, do you think for the youth of today, are they getting a fair share of what should be happening resourcefully? Like, are they given the opportunities that you see many others who have so that they can have a head start in life? Absolutely not. Like, they, they got to get it from the mud. Like, they, however they get it is however they get it. And I know that that's true because when somebody out of the black community do come up, everybody want to know how he came up. Like, oh, how you got this? How you got that? Who put you on this? Who? Where you get this, they don't really care about what you, they don't care about what you do or how you did it to get it. They just want to know how you got it and now that you got it. Right. Are you going to give me some of that? So do you think it's more about when people who do make it, did they really earn it? Or was it somebody handed it to them? Or was it somebody they related to or somebody they knew? Do you think it's more that than just being qualified to do something? Like, for example, if you have a degree and you go and apply for a job and they'll say, well, you don't have no experience or we can hire you, but we can't pay you for the degree. So what if you're able to do the work and don't necessarily have a degree? Does it really matter? Or are you seeing a generation of folk who getting indoors because of who they connected to and who they know and who's with who? Um, definitely it's who you know. Like, that's most certainly what's going on. Like, and, you know, a lot of people... It's sad to say, but a lot of people don't really get a fair shake at certain things and opportunities because they don't, you know, they're not involved with the people who run it or, you know, they're not in that circle. So it's sad to say, but, you know, that's how America is. And some people, some you got exceptions, some people make it down, no, you know, but that's very rare. And then you got people who, you know, they don't have no qualifications, but they, they got the position. They don't have no nothing no credibility no nothing but they're in a the position and and they and they basically and nine times out of ten they might have authority over you so it's like you wouldn't even want to come in there and try to question that person because they could probably get you terminated you might have more credits or more credibility more credentials than the person that's over you but the simple fact that you're not in that circle could get you you know out the door i'm, I'm quite sure you're talking about like a job or place of employment um which even a place of living even 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 in in housing, it's, it's it done came down to that to where you gotta know somebody that know somebody like nobody. 
food like what I look a young man like me going to a suburban neighborhood to say I want to get me a, a one bedroom even if I even if I do have my money and I have my bank statements and I have the, and I meet the criteria to be able to move into this to this building or this apartment I still will get looked at as nah, you're not you qualified they'll turn me away they'll say I don't have no vacancy they say, they'll say we don't have any uh, apartments available they'll say I don't meet the criteria but well, simply because of how I look 